In this video, you'll be learning how to build and configure attributes that use a PyPoint data reference. Now, as the name implies, a PyPoint data reference is used to map a PyTag on the data archive server to an attribute on the AF server. In this way, we can display the real-time data coming from the data archive through an AF attribute. So let me jump back to my completed HVAC database, and we can get a look at how this works. So here we have our outside temperature attribute. And if we look at the configuration string, we're mapping this tag osisofthvacsim.t000.pv sim.t000.pv to a much more user-friendly attribute name of outside temperature. So let's jump back to our blank database and see how we can build and configure these PyPoint data reference attributes. Let's go ahead and add some PyTag data to our new Zone 1 element that we've been working on. So looking back at my tag list, I see that for Zone 1, looks like I have a couple of temperature measurements here uh, for the indoor temperature and the thermostat setting. So let's start by adding the indoor temperature, the T100 tag. So of course, to build a new attribute, I can just right click anywhere in the viewer, select New Attribute. And we're going to call it indoor temperature. And we'll need to specify the default UOM. Now I can click here and I can start paging down until I get to my temperature class. And then I can go over and find degrees Fahrenheit and click on that. Or there is a kind of automated search feature built into the default UOM field. So if I just start typing degree, you can see it gives me all the ones that have the word degree in it. And then I can select degree Fahrenheit from that shortened list. So that's a little shortcut if you already know the name of the UOM that you're looking for. And here I won't really specify the value type um, for a PyPoint data reference. AF can match the value type of the attribute to the value type that's defined for the underlying Py tag. Let's go ahead and select our Pi point here is our data reference. Now you see this little warning pops up reminding us that for uh, attributes that have data that updates frequently, we wouldn't want those to be a configuration item. We discussed that in a previous video. But you'll see when we select settings here to go into the GUI to configure the attribute, it automatically unchecks that box for us. So let's look at our uh, settings GUI that we're going to use for the Pi point data reference. The top you see, we can select the Pi server that we want to use because AF can serve up data from any number of Pi servers. And if you needed to add one to the list, you could click this little ellipsis button, similar to the connections dialogs we've seen earlier. Then we get down to the tag name field, and I could type it in if I know it off the top of my head, or I can use the little tag search function here. Now here I've already gone ahead and filled in a tag search of star HVAC star T10 because I know that the two tags I'm looking for for the zone one temperatures will meet that criterion. And you see that it has indeed returned my T100 tag for the indoor temperature and my T109 tag for the thermostat setting. So I'll select that indoor temperature tag, select OK. Next it's going to want me to specify source units in the unit of measure field. Now this is different from the default UOM which we specified out here. This is default UOM is the units that we want AF to use for displaying this attribute. The source units UOM is telling us what the incoming units are from the Pi tag itself. So if we jump back to our tag list, we see that these tags are using degrees C. So I want to specify that here for the source units. And that way all of our unit conversions will work correctly on the AF side. So for now we'll skip the value retrieval method section. We'll come back to that later. And I'll select OK. And here you can see my indoor temperature is specified in degrees F as we would like. Uh, the value type is a single, which matches the tag value type of a float 32. Uh, float 32 is a single precision floating point number. And we see finally that by going through the settings GUI, our configuration string for this data reference has been generated automatically. So first we have 
the Pi server name, and then of course we have the tag name for the tag on the Pi server that we're using. And finally, we have the incoming UOM for the tag since we specified that specifically. So every data reference is going to have its own configuration string as long as it's not a data reference of none. And we'll see that as we proceed through the other data references as well. So let me go ahead and check in the work I did to build this indoor temperature attribute. And remember that we also had a thermostat setting attribute for the zone as well. And I like to add that because we'll be using it for calculation later. So a quick and easy way to build that attribute would be just to copy and paste this indoor temperature attribute because they both use the same UOM settings and the same value type and really the only difference is that indoor temperature uses the tag with the name T100 and the thermostat setting attribute will use the tag T109. So I can just copy my indoor temperature, paste it to create a new attribute, give it the correct name thermostat setting and change this from T100 to T109 and we're done. Now we have our thermostat setting using the correct tag and I'll go ahead and check that in.